evening, wherever you're at in this part of the world, uh, your part of the world. Might be a different time of day, but greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And um, as always, uh, he can be your Lord and Savior, too, if you just trust him and call upon him to save your soul. Amen. And uh, so today's topic will be titled, A Homecoming, for today's uh, Baptist Bread devotional. And before we get started on that, we're going to sing today's scripture song and then the VBS song after that and then we will get into the topic so today's uh scripture song is the letter f we're going through the alphabet uh, this month and we've gone all the way to e and today we're gonna do the letter f from ecclesiastes twelve fourteen. and so let me press play here and we will sing along with brother dean and sister patty amen f. ecclesiastes twelve fourteen. for, for god, god shall bring every work into, into judgment, judgment. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Here we go. For God shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. There's a whistle there. For God shall bring every work into judgment, every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. I'm not good at that. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, well, if you know how to whistle, you can do that whistling at the end there. And now let's go ahead and go to today's VBS song. And let me turn there. If I can get there. All right, so. Get there. All right, so today is um, titled Rain, Rain, Rain. And this was uh, written by Brother Dean Runyon. And he was walking in the rain when he wrote this uh, song about the rain so let me go ahead and get there i think it's uh tracked or track not tracked uh, not a gospel track but a uh, track here on the cd so i think it's number 36 let me make sure here i lose track here in the book of red okay that was yesterday's so let's try I think today's is it. Here we go. 37. Here we go. Rain, rain, rain. My Savior sends the rain. Rains his blessings down on me. Down on me. Sun, sun, sun. Whatever he has done. Rain or sun, whatever is done. Praise his name. Rain, rain, my Savior sends the rain, rains his blessings down on me, down on me, sun, 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 whatever he has done, rain or sun, whatever is done, praise his name, rain or sun, whatever is done, praise his name. Amen. Neat little song there about the rain. And so we'll do that again towards the end of the broadcast. So let me go back here to the beginning of the month here on this booklet. Amen. And we'll do that there. And let me turn back all the way back to the beginning of, or close to the beginning of the CD here. Let me get back there to six there we go all right so now it's time to get into today's topic titled a homecoming for this sixth day of december and it says here in isaiah 12 2 behold god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid for the lord jehovah is my strength and my song he also has become my salvation isaiah 12 2 and he can be your salvation too if you'll just Call upon him to save your soul. Amen. 
All right, so today's author is T.M. I believe that's the initials for Tom Malone. Let me see, yep, Brother Tom Malone. And, of course, uh, he is deceased, gone to be with the Lord. And he was from Pontiac, Michigan. So let me read you what he wrote on this topic of a homecoming. And he says, I have the privilege, or he says, I had the privilege to see one of the most beautiful things that I have ever seen in my life. One night, while I was holding a revival meeting, the pastor was called to the home of one of his finest families. The mother of that home was very ill, and they said she was not long for this world. I went that night with the preacher to that, to that home. Uh, there I saw an elderly lady of undetermined advanced age with one of the most uh, beautiful faces. It seemed like a face that was in touch with God. Her hair was as white as snow. Uh, there she lay upon the white pillow and sheets with that beautiful white hair. As I followed the pastor to her bedside, he took her by the hand and he talked to her, and she answered him in a voice as clear as day. In a moment, we began to pray, and that woman began to sing a song, Beyond the Sunset. She sang it with the voice of her youth. Then, in a little while, she closed her eyes as if she had everything under control and never opened them again. In that moment, she went triumphantly triumphantly, uh, to be with the Lord. Friends, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. 2 Corinthians 5, 8. And he puts here in big bold letters, What a homecoming! Exclamation point. Amen. And that will be what a homecoming. Praise God when that day happens. And one day it'll happen to each one of us. Uh, might be in the rapture or if you uh, pass away before then. You'll go be with the Lord if you're saved. And have trusted him as your Lord and Savior that is. But if you're not saved, well today is the day of salvation. Because you don't want to wait till tomorrow. Because that day might never come. And so it's best to get that settled today with the Lord. So you don't end up. Dying in your sin and ending up in hellfire. Amen. All right. So that is the end of the topic, uh, the Baptist Bread devotional topic. And now we're going to cover, I think it's lesson three from the 24 lessons from Jonah. And this was written by J. Bennett Collins. And so let me make sure here we're on lesson three, I believe. All right. So lesson two we covered yesterday. And now get here to lesson number three and if you might have a copy of this book i'm not sure if it's in print anymore or where you can find a copy of this but in the book it's on page 18 for lesson three and it says a preacher's ego can make him displease god is lesson number three <clears throat> all right so it says here jonah was more concerned with the opinion of nineveh or nineveh and the prophets and people at home in Israel than with whether God was pleased with his obedience. He makes this plain in his prayer of all things in Jonah 4, 2-3. And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish, for I knew that thou art a gracious God, and merciful, slow to anger, and a great kindness, and repentest thee of the evil. Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from thee, or from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Jonah was pouting and was upset with God because he was not going to be uh, praised as the great prophet who prophesied the destruction of Nineveh, and it came to pass just as he predicted he had an ego problem. What will people think of me? He thought. Uh, what will happen to my ministry and reputation? God's called man. Uh, God's God's called man should not uh, never should never allow such questions to cross his mind. Right. So we shouldn't let these questions cross our mind. Many of our modern day preachers, including many of our so-called Bible-believing fundamental churches, have allowed their egotistic personalities to dictate their ministry 
to their uh, thinking, success is large crowds, big buildings, recognition in the religious academic world, and high positions in their particular fellowship of preachers. To reach these goals, they are willing to trim, trim down their standards and use the methods of high pressure, uh, high pressure salesmanship, both in the manner of getting prof uh, professions to report and promoting themselves. This has seriously hurt our chances for Holy Spirit revival. This is not a blanket accusation. There are good men with large and progressing churches and ministries that do not fall into the category described above. God still has his men faithfully carrying out his will. What a great pleasure to be around such men. Jonah was to preach God's wrath and judgment to come at a designated time. Jonah 3, 4 says, And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Our message is that Christ died on the cross to bear the judgment and wrath of God of, of God on sin. So our message is that Christ died on the cross to bear the judgment and wrath of God on sin. By accepting his finished work, we can be freed from wrath and born into the family of God. What a glorious message, amen. What a great privilege to be called of God to preach. It is a sad commentary when preachers are more concerned with their popularity than they are with obedience and faithfulness to the Bible. All I am, or hope to be, is that the Spirit of God is somehow using me. Amen. And that is today's lesson. So tomorrow will be lesson number four, titled, It Costs to Disobey God's Orders. So that will be tomorrow's uh, lesson from this book. And um, again, the ch uh, um, website is www.sermonandsongministries.org. And uh, so that's the website. I'm not sure if you can get this book on that website or not, but maybe there's a, some way you can get a breach with them. Amen. So that is the end of the lesson three from the book. And now let's go ahead and sing today's scripture song again. And remember, there's a little whistling at the end, towards the end of the scripture song today. So if you know how to whistle, you can whistle along. Praise the Lord. Now we press play here and we'll sing today's song again. Ecclesiastes 12, 14. 14. For God, God shall bring every, every work into judgment, judgment with every secret, secret thing, thing whether, it whether it be good or whether it be evil. Here we go. For God, God, God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. I had to hum. <laughs> For God, God will bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. <laughs> Not good at whistling, as you know. Amen. All right. So let's go to today's VBS song again, and we'll sing the Rain, Rain, Rain song. And these were put together by uh, Brother Dean and Sister Patty throughout the years for different VBS programs they did during the summer months in Port Kaituma, Guyana. So let me go to, I think it was number 37 on the CD here. Let me get there. All right, here we go. So this is Rain, 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 written by Brother Dean. While he was walking in the rain. Amen. <laughs> rain, rain, rain. My Savior sends the rain. Rains his blessings down on me. Down on me. Sun, sun, sun. Whatever he has done. Rain or sun, whatever is done, praise his name. For the rain, 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 
my Savior sends the rain, rains his blessings down on me, down on me. Sun, 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 whatever he has done, rain or sun, whatever has done, praise his name. Rain or sun, whatever is done, praise his name. All right, let's go back to yesterday's scripture song, and we'll do yesterday's, and then we'll wrap it up with today's one more time. So yesterday was the fifth. Go back there and turn back to that page. In the song book here. Alright, so let's see. Yesterday's scripture song, and that was for the fifth. Let me press play. Amen. Second Corinthians, Corinthians 9 7. 7. Every, Every man, man according, according to his purpose, purpose in his heart, heart so, so let him give, him not grudgingly or of necessity, necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart. So let him give, let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver, God loveth a cheerful giver, let him give, let him give. For God loveth a cheerful giver, God loveth a cheerful giver, let him give, let him give. Every man according as purpose it in his heart so let him give let him give not grudgingly or of necessity for God loveth a cheerful giver God loveth a cheerful giver let him give let him give for God loveth a cheerful giver, God loveth a cheerful giver, every man, let him give. Amen. All right, we're going to do today's one more time. F. Ecclesiastes 12, 14. For God shall bring every work into judgment Amen. with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. That's right. <clears throat> For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Oh. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right, well, that'll about end it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me go ahead and give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topic for the Baptist Bread devotional. So tomorrow is the 7th and we'll be singing Matthew 28, 19, which is G in the alphabet. The um, verse is 28, 19 of Matthew and it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And so that will be tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's uh, VBS song uh, will be, let's see here, will be uh, Books of the Old Testament. And this is to the tune of Bring Them In. So that will be tomorrow's VBS song. And then tomorrow's topic will be 
titled. Let's see here. If I can get there, turn the page. So tomorrow's topic will be titled Faint Not. And that will be for Monday, December 7th. Faint Not. And the passage will be from 2 Corinthians 4, 1 and 2a. So the first part of 2, verses 1, and the first part of verse 2. So stay tuned for that. And then, of course, we'll be covering lesson number 4 from the 24 lessons from Jonah. And again, you can uh, try to look for this book somewhere on the Internet. Um, I found this on... It goes Amazon or one of those websites, so maybe they'll have a copy there, or you can maybe contact uh, um, the website I gave to you earlier, and uh, maybe they can help you out on locating that book if you want a copy of it. So praise the Lord, and if you'd like to uh, get a box of these devotionals, you can do so by either writing to Baptist Bread at 37055 Joy Road, Westland, Michigan, 48185 and their phone number is 734-425-0466 and the email address is bb at joybaptist.com or you can write to brother tim green at evangelist tim green p.o box one day heights ohio 45150 or go to his website at www.timgreenministries.org and i believe you can order these on that website also, and they come in a box of 10, I believe, and they're $12.95 every other month they send them to you, and uh, so um, probably get uh, next year's if you order them now, so since December is uh, halfway over, so you probably won't get uh, November and December, so you'll probably get January and February, so uh, that, and then if you'd like to learn more of these scripture songs, you can do so by going to Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website at www dot daily scripture songs dot com and that is their website and they're playing their scripture songs all day long and you can go and download them on mp3 format on your phone or computer or you can order the cds if you like to listen to the cds and do it the old-fashioned way by popping them into a cd player amen so and learn them and listen to them a good way to learn scripture song and then you can um or learn scripture by song i should say and you can also read up on their latest uh, prayer letter and find out what's going on over there in Port Kaituma and their mission work that they're doing and uh, keep praying for them. I uh, keep seeing that they're planning on going over to Guyana around the first of the year, so pray that they're able to do that and uh, that uh, God gives them the liberty to do that and that they don't have any issues or problems getting over there. And um, so and pray for all those that are continuing to work over there in that area that have taken over the work for uh, Brother Dean and Sister Patty locally and for those that have taken over mission missionary work for other missionaries over there like Brother Buck and Sister Shannon and keep them in your prayers and all missionaries around the world and so that we can maybe travel there and elsewhere again one day and so you can be a missionary in your own backyard even so praise the Lord for that and I encourage you to go listen to Brother James's sermon this morning was really good, uh, really sobering, and uh, so go listen to that at um, the YouTube page at James Knox Sermons by typing that in, or you can go to the church website at www.jameswknox.org. Amen. All right, well, that'll about end it for today, so hope to see you here in a few minutes for the, bap or the daily Bible reading, so we'll be doing them back-to-back, -back, so I'll be here uh, again shortly to give you that uh, broadcast so stay tuned for that amen and if you're just joining you can go back to the beginning and watch this in its entirety praise the lord uh, for being able to do these and hope they're helping a the blessing to you all right well remember jesus saves so trust in him and he'll save your soul all right may the lord richly bless you until next time and thanks for watching